Alright, we're good now. Alrighty. I, to, <coughs> I had this cough all like two weeks. Damn. Two weeks. It sucks. Yikes. It was worse before, but at least it's better now. Damn. That sucks. <laughs> right? It really does suck. Yeah. Yep. But it's alright because I'm healthy enough to do this podcast episode with you guys. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's always a good thing. Well, I think we should start with introductions since Kick hasn't really been on the speaking with us. Right. <laughs> Coffin, my <laughs> least favorite. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that, huh? Yeah. yeah. I, I might have to move this mic away just so I can <coughs> cough on the side. Probably just mute myself a couple times. All right. Right. So, so I'll start with the introductions. Uh, everyone knows me, Machin Black, and also known as Rocky Williams. That's how some of the some of the homies call me. And let's let's introduce Kick real quick, since you. Oh uh, yeah, um, hello. Uh, my, uh, my name is Kick Striker, or Kick Striker, or Kick for short, for short. Um, this is actually my first time on the podcast, and I'm also a mod on the Discord. And I don't come on here very often, but uh, one day I decided, yeah, why not? Also, it's more. Of, uh, also, I'm in a broadcasting class, so I thought I get the hang of. Uh, I thought I get used to the feeling of being on a podcast before because I've never been on a podcast. So forgive me if I stutter some of my words. So trust me, we all do. It's all right. good. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I'm a, a huge uh, fighting game guy with uh, with uh, with a with a knowledge of Tokusatsu and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, hey. and notorious for making bad puns. Mm. He's he is not lying about that. Oh yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's all there is to about uh, me. So yeah, something about common Power Rangers, all that the- stuff. Come yeah. Right on, I guess. <clears throat> yes. Alright, CJ, you want to introduce yourself? Then you, then you got me, the boy, CJ, aka Chase, aka Chasing Dreams, coming to you live Talk on to. this Saturday evening, talking about fighting games. That's a lot of chasing. Yeah, chasing dreams, chasing memes, chasing yeah. this clout. Chasing dreams, doubt. chasing memes, chasing screens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright. Hey. Right, I think we should get this episode rolling. You you want to do your little rant first before we actually do the the episode? God, do I want to talk about Marvel vs. Capcom oh, at the god. beginning of the episode? Um. <laughs> oh god, I forgot about that. I thought you already did that. <sighs> Hold on. When am I gonna get a sound box just to be like? Oh. Just for specific moments like this. Like, here right. it come. <laughs> oh, he coming. I got my iPhone on standby, though. So Alright. I need to have show pass me that one clip of Pikachu just walking, that he, and then uh, has that music play. Like, oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking CJ me. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it fits. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because CJ is my nickname. Um, oh, oh yeah, that's true. But yeah. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, a while back, uh, Event Hubs. I'm pretty sure everyone here knows who they are. Oof. Uh, yeah. Did a pod. Uh, did an episode of their podcast, uh, and one of the members on there talked about uh, Marvel vs. Capcom and Dragon Ball Fighters, and Their point was that once the next Marvel vs. Capcom is announced, Dragon Ball Fighters is in the gutter. It's gone. Yeah. And I think... And I can agree with that to a certain extent. A certain extent, because 
you know, Capcom hasn't been putting a lot of love into their fighting game division as of recent. We saw yeah. this with as early as Cross Tekken and as late as Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And then after like that, it's been non-stop disappointment and the only th substantial fighting game releases we've been getting have been collections or like just re or just remastered old versions of games because uh, the year the Switch launched we got good old Ultra Street Fighter 2 and then year after we got the anniversary collection we also got arcade edition which i mean is just a re-release of street fighter 5 but bundled with season one and season two and that's all we've gotten from their division so far and we're probably not going to get anything else until the next console but back to marvel vs. capcom um it does have the potential to shoot Dragon Ball Fighters out of the gutter because, or into the gutter, because the only reason I think a lot of us people who are into fighting games um, decided to pick up um, Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, even if you are a, a huge Dragon Ball fan, is its heavy influence of from Marvel vs. Capcom. Because it has that gameplay. 3 versus 3, tagging, assisting, all that jazz. DHCs, you know, highly advanced combos, but with that Arxis touch of, like, universal stuff. Like, everyone having a double jump, everyone having an air dash, everyone being able to essentially do the same combo. You know, crouching medium, standing medium, jump M, L, L, down H. You get it. Those delayed combos. Yeah, and then, but that also comes with some negativity. If everyone can do the same thing, that means everyone can do the same thing. And That's it's boring after a while. Yeah, because typically the everyone's a rushdown character in that game. Yes, everyone's a rushdown character. Even characters who shouldn't be rushed down are rushed down. Yeah, exactly. Like, like you can you can make stellar comebacks with almost every character. And no character is bad. It's like not no character's garbage. Like, in the respect of everyone, like in like comparing them to uh, some the entire roster. Yeah, there are some. Uh, uh, I don't know how to put this. I I can't figure that. But there are some like weak ones in the pot, compared oh, yeah. to the stronger ones. But. They're not entirely. If you got a good team composition, you can you can make do. You know, just like Marvel vs. Capcom. But unlike Marvel vs. Capcom, no uniqueness. Because if you, because you could probably get away with this game, with just basic combos and fundamentals. You can't do that in Marvel vs. Capcom. Like. There are no keep away characters in Dragon Ball Fighters. There are no heavy zoners. I mean, that's kind of keep away, but whatever. There's no character that's like heavy neutral. It's all it's all rush down. And if it's all rush down, it's just it's going to be an eyesore. And there are no unique character like moves like Almost everyone has a beam. Almost everyone has, like, some sort of invincible wake-up option. You want, like... 
You think like you, what are most what are most characters level threes in this game? Beams. <laughs> Everyone has a yeah. ball super. But <laughs> Everyone has a beam. And mo there are ball supers up the wazoo. Hey, we're on the ball with that one. So. I can't. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and but there's also there is some uniqueness in there. Like like, where are the transformation supers? The only character with that one is Frieza. A proper install, you. Yeah. Like a proper install. Yeah. Like Golden Frieza's hype. But imagine if, but if it's just Golden Frieza, and no one, and Golden Frieza isn't seen a lot. Frieza yeah. himself isn't seen a lot. <laughs> What's yeah. the point? We're just gonna see Bardock after Bardock, Kid Boo after Kid Boo, Goku after Goku after Goku. Which Come Goku is dub? Is yes. Like either Which base Goku? or either base or Super Saiyan. Oh yeah, true. That Definitely no blue Super, Super Saiyan Goku's. Yeah. And just... no one likes the Super Saiyan blue characters because they're poor, they're they're bad. I mean, they're not bad, but they're less. Fulfilling than the others. I mean, did Blue Goku get better this patch? Oh no, he got uh, he got better, but he's still not as good as Super Saiyan or Base. Yeah, he's true, he's true, he's true. Yeah, because Blue Goku usually focuses on more stylish combos uh, as well as Blue Vegeta. Yeah, they're they're meant to be stylish, which I mean, I like stylish. You all know that. Of course you do. But if it's just style, then. If all they got going for is style, screw that. I don't care. You guys hear the birds in the background? Yeah, I hear birds. Look at yeah, yeah. <laughs> this window. The birds. The birds. <laughs> Hold up. It's like, but, but they're in contrast. Look at Marla versus Capcom. Like, yes, many characters have full screen projectile supers. <laughs> but yes. they're. They're very, but they all have their own, like, uh, they all have their own uses. Like, Strider, you can't hit that, like, you can't just knock him to the ground and have, and then keep them in an OT, like, an off-the-ground state, and then use his level, use his level one. You can't do that, because they'll pop up too fast. You, you either use that for, like, you can use it for, like, mix-ups and whatnot. And most characters don't even, a lot of characters don't even have, like, full screen, like, projectile suits. You got freaking, you got characters like Gamora in Marvel Infinite with, like, just that sword super. Mm -hmm. You got, you got Rekoha for Zero. You got, um, that shit, like, Phoenix Wright stuff. Doctor Doom's like he has a full screen projectile, but he also has the like shining the uh, what's the super where he like throws uh, stuff up in the air? Uh, um, are you talking about the one where he uh, where is, he crosses where he his arms? arms? No, the one where he's like, are you talking about the one where he like shoots like an energy ball up in the air? Almost yeah, like where, he was. Where he's where trying to do an energy ball up into the air and then like shoot and then stuff shoots down. Oh yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. But hidden I... missiles? No, not no. hidden missiles. No, oh, but, that... oh, but also that's the thing. There's nothing like hidden missiles. Like there's there's nothing like hidden missile. There's nothing like that. And while so that stuff, piece. and while that stuff can get monotonous in Marvel, it's few and far between. Like, the only people who you'll see really play that kind of character is Chris G. Mm. Chris G. Friggin' Morgan, uh, Doctor Doom, I think, and Vir I think that's his team. Like, mm, either. I, I don't think he see. uses Virgil Terry, does he? The no, last I'm time not, I checked. I, he, I think he, he uses Virgil and his Morgan team. Yeah. If it does, it, it wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. Or you got Ryan Hart, who uses... Yeah, he's, he's yes, he virtual. uses Morgan, but he also uses Chun-Li and Phoenix. Yeah. 
and we don't have and speaking of which we don't have characters like phoenix anymore like True. a character who has super low health super limited but once but if you have that five meters and is knocked down to full health becomes a monster and sure no not a lot of people like phoenix but once I, you see that kind of stuff it's kind of hype yeah like you don't yes the only phoenix right player i can think of at the moment is lethero he loves phoenix right well i mean i'm talking about like uh feet like x-men phoenix uh oh oh i, I, thought, you meant, I thought you meant the phoenix one with right. the comeback oh, okay yeah, the I, comeback mechanic. Is we all got confused. We, I thought you meant Phoenix, right? <laughs> the one like, that uh, broke the game for a year or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm saying... Jean Grey. But also, <laughs> that's a good point. Phoenix Wright. Where's a character like him? Like, a character who's... Who has who has to play keep away for just a little bit. And then, once he, get, and then once he gets his the tools, concept. just... Bam. He goes in. And then he can keep going in with his... With his fingers and his objections, and can, and has a frame, and has a frame one level three. Like uniqueness. Where are all the characters with installs? Where are all the supers that can be used for like mix-ups? Where's stuff like summon swords? Yeah. Where's, where's the fight? Where's Dormammu's fireball? Where's my Tri-Dash characters? I want my gun loops back. I know no one... I know the whole function thing is kind of stupid. But, yeah. like... These are characters people love to play. And these are characters that, like... You know, keep that execution barrier, like, high level. That's you gotta play that kind of stuff. You gotta master that kind of stuff. Dragon Ball doesn't have that kind of high execution. And granted, as we progress further and further into this fighting game uh, era, game games will get less simple. Game, yeah, Hellzone, there's Hellzone Grenade, and then there's also like uh, Blades of Judgment for Fuse and Masu. But that's it. But the problem is, um, it uh, it's rare to see combos off that stuff. Yeah. At least to my knowledge. Yeah, I want I like I want mix ups. I want good ass mix ups. Yeah. If you ask but me But I also want more combos, like <sighs> I think the only thing that Dragon Ball Fighters really has going for it is the characters really. Yes, that's, that's true. the only reason he's successful. It's, it's pretty much the only reason. Is it it's and it's got it's it's got a good graphic style. Yes. It's gameplay is easy to learn. Well, easier to learn than most other fighting games. And it's Dragon Ball. Oh, Plus yes. Marvel no one would Capcom. care otherwise. It is Dragon Ball with Marvel vs. Capcom style mechanics. And with, that is it. And we've got Kid Goku GT uh, being announced, announced. You definitely know people are going to be all over that. And yes, because people like Goku. Yes. You know what people also like? Marvel. Yeah, true. You know what people also like? Capcom. Mm hmm. And especially as of recent, if you put those two together, I think if given the time, the effort, and an actual budget, we could have an, a very good fighting game that has. That can throw Dragon Ball Fighters off of its throne. Uh, and, just like how, oh, sorry, and be back at Evo, just like Dragon Ball Fighters through Marvel Infinite or Marvel vs. Capcom off its throne. We could have a return of the King, and I think that's necessary. Just like Rise from its grave, and then somehow takes on the tyrant known as Dragon Ball Fighters. Yes, because at this point, people are going to get sick of Street Fighter if it keeps going down this path. Yeah. Something, that I, uh, something else I want to... I want to piggyback off what, what he said about 
every character being a rushdown character. Uh, I was talking to a friend at, at college uh, who is also uh, who also is playing street, uh, not street, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters at the moment, and um, he was uh, kind of struggling because of what to pick because his playstyle revolves around using a lot of heavy characters and grapplers and big characters. He he, he refuses to play anything else other than big or uh, other than big, big or grappler characters because he likes that strong playstyle, and um. He was struggling because it's like what, like what we said earlier that every character in Dragon Ball Fighters is a rushdown character. And yeah, the only character that's like close to that is Android sixteen. Yeah, but I don't think he plays Android sixteen. Yeah, and it's it's weird because there's no grappler archetype in, like, no traditional grappler archetype in yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters. Which I mean, you can make the argument that you know traditional grappler archetypes in these types of games don't really work. I disagree. Yeah. Mike Hagar. Yes. Also, Mike Hagar works really well. Yeah. Even though he's got like he's got a decent combo game, there is still that fear enlisted in you because grapplers are meant to inspire fear into your opponent. You don't want to get command grab because that command grab is going to hurt a lot. Oof, I'm an Akuma player right here. And that... especially if you're playing that those low health characters, they're gonna hurt. Suddenly gets PTSD flashbacks of playing Blaze Blue Cross Tag with, with Waldstein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have Any... PTSD of not being able to avoid birdie stuff. Yeah. I get PST, uh, PST. PST. P- P- PTSD of Street Fighter Five in general. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then and it's still complete. Like, <laughs> Dragon Ball anyway. Fighters lacks unique character archetypes. It lacks any. It lacks uniqueness. Yeah. It's funny and because that's exactly what Dragon Ball is. Like the series. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We have. Like, these characters are different in the series, but, like, they play nearly the same in the game. Like, Broly, you would think yeah, he would be a heavy grappler character, but no. Yeah, I mean, Gro- Broly has a kind of, like, I mean, Broly is, Broly? Broly. Yes. Is also, is also a command grab archetype-ish, and the, pulls that off a lot better than Android 16. Yeah. But... If you could play that, then. But after a while, you're gonna get sick of it. You you yeah, because just it's just one basic has command grab. Then you lead to a full combo, and then lather, rinse, repeat. And I know that's essen- that's essentially the same thing in other fighting games, but like, you can mix them up. You know, Broly doesn't have like. Does he have a low light? Like, can he do that kind of stuff? Like, can you ground your opponent and then, like, have them stay grounded and then mix them up with, like, a light combo string? I actually want to know that because I don't play Broly. I think he has a, a low light, but... It's like, after a while, your opponent's going to adjust and you're going to be like, well, what do I do now? Because, like, there's a lot to want from these kinds of characters. Because if, mi- you, if you want a zoner... It's not there. If you want a traditional grappler, it's not there. If you want someone who you really want to, yeah, his two L light, his two, his that crouching light isn't low. Yeah. So what's wow. the point? You would think, huh? Yeah. Punch him while squatting. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, and not and that's the thing. And not a lot of characters have low lights. Like in Marvel vs. Capcom, every single low. Like in in Marvel three, every single low is like is crouch is like a is a low. I think the only exception is nah. Never mind. There is no exception. I was thinking of like crouching heavies having to are lot being watchers. Oof. Hmm. Well, I think certain crouch heavies can be stand blocked. Hello, Marth. Hey, Marth. Oh, 
something like what's poppin but like there's and yes marvel 3 also has traditional car combo strings but there's nothing like you know juggling like foot foot dive there's nothing like that like there are no there are no combos in this game that get people off their seats like everyone everyone roars when when foot foot dive is there <laughs> everyone gets hype at a, at a very good Dante combo and everyone gets hype if you like see an un if you see an underdog yeah like if you see a if you see a phoenix right if you see a like uh some other low tier like an iron fist uh-huh. and then cuz there's nothing like that in this game no one's going to play freaking android 17 if what yeah. he does you can do better with another character kind of shame really because i've been wanting to play 17. yeah and from what i've heard 17 is not that great yeah as so i've heard as so witness myself yeah and it's just and it's and especially with capcom now and marvel now you know marvel has fox <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, I was bullying in the comment section. Yeah, Mick Yaros. <laughs> Mc, yeah, Mc, uh, whatever. Because, and especially now with Marvel versus Capcom, you can there. Marvel now has the Fox like licenses, so you can use, so you can use Fox characters. But I doubt in the next five years they will because they're not going to be in the next phase of MCU. But you can use them because. I'm pretty because Marvel vs. Capcom and its heart is X Men. Straight up. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can still like use them and then be like, "Hey, you like these guys? We'll watch our next movies." Because that's what they did with Doctor Strange and Rocket Raccoon. Mhm. Mm and Marvel Three. And then you got. And then you still got a lot more like characters in the MCU that weren't used in Marvel Infinite. Characters like Star Lord or Drax or Scarlet Witch or Vision. Yeah. Or, like, or using some more of the MCU power set. Well, not necessarily power, but like aesthetic. I'm pretty sure people are, because if you're gonna go for a more real. Because I'm pretty sure going forward, Capcom is going to try to force realism down our throats. Even though it's not a bad thing. Uh, let's incorporate more of that MCU if that's what you want to focus on. Let's not have broad-shouldered Captain America. Let's have some of that... Uh, what's, what's the thing? Let's put some... Okay, I can't spoil on game here. Never mind. Um, yeah, some of us haven't seen it. Let's yeah, get Thanos with the Infinity. Let's get Thanos Bro, with the Infinity. Bro, should have went for the head. I want that super. Um, I don't feel so good. I want that to be his outro. <laughs> I want Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet to have, be a full character, and then and if he wins, he's like, and then he's like, now balance can be restored, and then snaps. And then the whole existence fades away. You know what I would like see, to see? Then you see people dusting. Yeah. I would like to see him bring that blade where he like tries to balance it. He should be like, balance has been restored as it should be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen a tweet about that. <laughs> well, you know what would be great? If he had a, a level 3 super, and that was a counter super, where, and then that's when he says you should have gone for the head, snaps, and then the, the KOs the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that'd be a dope, like, if they, like, brought back 5 levels, that'd be a good level 5 super. that like, do a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be, like, a counter super. And then it's like, you should have gone for the head. And then there. I don't feel so good. Yeah. <laughs> and then you could use some more. And then for Spider-Man, you know, 
he's got some unique stuff. Like he's got all those web gadgets, and instant kill mode would be a nice like transformation super. Bring back I inspire. Yeah, you could do that, but I mean, his default suit also has like instant kill mode. Oh, it does. Huh. Yeah, it, it, that was in Homecoming. Oh, okay. And then like, just like Loki, like other interesting characters that we haven't that are in the MCU that we haven't seen in like like in, in these fighting games. Like, bring in some MCU Thor. Like, let's get let's get some Stormbreaker action in there. Let's let's stop having this this I am Thor, son of Odin, and whatever. <laughs> and let's let's get let's get the jokey Thor in here. I'm pretty sure like you could still give him like a bunch of like other like the the old Thor stuff, but like throw in some MCU flavor. Maybe like an outfit or something. Like the outfit, but also like you know. Don't like don't give him Mjolnir, give him Stormbreaker. And then just uh give you a bit. I and, wanna... uh, and, and then with Capcom. Awesome, you know, please. We've had with Capcom we have had so many major title releases since Marvel Three that and even before Marvel 3, that have had like many characters that can be used in these games. You got Leon Kennedy. You got Nero. Yes. You got so many other Street Fighter characters that have been added over the past years. We got, you know, we got Jack Baker from RE7. We got, uh, we got, we got a newer Dante. Like let's stop using DMC three Dante. Let's use DM. Let's use DM DMC five. Yeah, let's have him do and the just, Michael Jackson dance. Yeah, let's let's give him some let's give him some flavor, you know. Probably V. Like V, you know, we could you know bring bring back Virgil like for some new stuff. Yeah, and then and then give like. Existing characters of their new tool kit, new tool kits. Like, maybe you get, use the V triggers in Street Fight in from Street Fighter Five as an install super for Street Fighter characters. You know, give them some more variety. I would like to see so, Rashid hey, to be a Marvel. Oh uh, yeah, of course, Rash Rashid's practically a Marvel character. Exactly, he'd be. Yeah, I, I think he'd be like busted Rashid, in Marvel, Rashid's but I don't care for Marvel. Uh, I think Jury is a good fit for Marvel. Like, yeah. Despite my Jury's bias, good. I really want Jury. Jury is a great fit, honestly. She got she already has her air combos, honestly. She's good for Marvel. Yeah, that's true. So bring back the dive kick, please. And her supers have a lot of Marvel flavor to them, like from from Ultra. This would be uh, the end of for you. Street Fighter Four, like her Which her Ultra Two. Oh. It's perfect. Yeah, when well, she's like, that felt good, didn't it? And oh, then God. just slams you to the her ground. Ultra, her Ultra 1 would be an amazing install for Marvel. It'll be a level, I'd make it a level 1, though. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd, yeah I'd make it a level 1 as well. Like, yeah. But, like also double like, but also like her... And then her level 3, or her, her critical art... <laughs> from yeah, oh full God. backup. Yeah, now they're reacting to it. Yikes. And now hey, they're yikes. like and now they're and now Jury's like critical art from Street Fighter Five would be a good level one super. Fucking <laughs> the <know>. stream. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a lot like Zero's uh Gemini Zero. But whatever. And throw some some of that Street Fighter Four stuff in there, you know. Give her the dive kick, and uh, don't make her have to store charges, because that 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 probably be a good balance, but like that ruin a lot, because no one likes that. I mean, I'd rather they do it like in five, where you don't have to hold the button if they do end up bringing that back. Yeah, yeah, that that as well. 
I mean, they'd ha they'd also have to have th three buttons. They'd have to have three kick buttons in order for that to be a thing. Yeah, that's true. Hey, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. Because I'm pretty sure, like, if the after what Marvel Infinite did, if they do make a new Marvel vs. Capcom, I'm sure that they'll probably go back to that formula. Because even though the yeah. game was trash, unless Capcom is thinking the gameplay we thought was trash as well, when that wasn't the case. Yeah, no, we we love, we like the Infinite gameplay. The Infinite gameplay is the best part of Marvel Infinite. Yeah. It's just everything else surrounding it was bad. Yeah. So if they can take that gameplay and put it inside of a better product, then I think we have a real recipe for success here. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that Marvel will come back to in its glory one day. I just, I just only wish they'd leave behind what if it, uh, what what happened in Infinite that made him put uh, what that made him what it is right now. Uh, just like all the bad changes to just leave him out in Infinite and just uh, bring in some new changes for the new game. I hope that if Marvel vs. Capcom decides to come back, um, it will not be limited by um, Marvel itself. Because I know there's going to be some limitation in there because Marvel's now this huge, high-profile brand that's owned by Disney. And, you know, if they they have to have some level of control to, re to keep their integrity as a brand. But uh, if, they, if they just let Capcom do their thing, like they let Insomniac Games do their thing, then uh, I'm good. I'm set. You know, let, let me... Let me play as DMC5 Dante with, uh, with friggin' th with a with a good Thor. Like, give me a th like a Thor that's not low tier. Give me Deadpool and Asura. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, we can, and yeah, bring back some of the Fox characters, bro. Like, I want to play as, I want I want Nero with Cyclops. I I want Ryu with. Wolverine. I want, this, I I want, want Deadpool to, to say Mag Nito. <laughs> I want Ryan Reynolds to say Mag Freaking Nito. That'd be dope. If we could it's gonna happen. I think it's probably gonna be Nolan North again. But if Ryan Reynolds was up for it, uh, why not? Yeah, I want uh, Rashid alongside with Scar, which Itch and Freaking uh, Nero. Oh, and also, um, who else am I thinking of? Oh, Psylocke. Psylocke, yeah. Gambit, and, and I'm not going to have a skin for much, but Jin Satomi, if we, we could bring him back, please. Yeah, let's, let's also bring back some of those older Capcom characters like Captain Commando, Jin Satome, um, Rival Schools. Batsu. Bro, Wesker Nightcrawler? Dude. Oh, Jesus. That'd be a recipe for disaster, because those are just two teleporting nightmares. Yeah. Let's get let's get some let's get some cable hopping, bro. Let's get some cable hopping. Optic. Molds and Josh Brolin in the team. Yeah. Like, like if they're gonna go for more realistic art styles in the future, because I'm pretty sure. Because I think RE Engine could be used for future fighting games. Wait, hold up. Taskmaster is a Capcom character? Huh? No. What? What no, the yes. heck? Okay, I, I had to I had to click this real quick because I looked up like Capcom characters in case I was forgetting some. And then I saw Taskmaster in this list. I clicked it and I saw Avengers. And never mind. Mm. I was going to say. I was like, like yeah, what? I, was like, I thought what? that was a Marvel yeah. character. I mean, Capcom does have a Black Widow. Yeah, they do. It's Slam Masters for that yes, Black Widow. Yes, yes, Very nice. which, which, Slam Masters. Which you know what? That could have been the biggest uh, twist of all time. Just, just have them say we're gonna add in Black Widow, but then it's, it turns out it's just Slam Masters with uh, Black Widow, because, oh, rather than Marvel's Black Widow. They really just that? put. 
Taskmaster and Shuma Garoth in this list of Capcom characters. I'm like, what the fuck? That's what everyone was thinking when, like, ta when, like, uh, when Black Widow got announced for Marvel Infinite. It was like, okay, surely they're not gonna have four Cap Marvel and two Capcom characters in this DLC, right? Nope. They're gonna give us Saturday Night Saturday Night Slam Masters, but nope. 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 It was Black Widow. It. The uh, Marvel's Black it was Widow. Marvel, it was Marvel's Black Widow, and uh, yeah, no one plays her. Great. Yeah. I never see much gameplay of uh, Black Widow in Infinite. Is that she's why like, she's like mix-ups? She's got command grabs. Oh yeah. I think her level three is a command grab. Yeah. One of her supers is command grab anyway. Yeah. But yeah, in summary, Marvel if Marvel came back, it could dethrone Dragon Ball Fighters because Dragon Ball Fighters lacks the uniqueness that Marvel vs. Capcom does. Now we can continue. Alright. Now we're going to get into the topic that we've been anticipating for a long time. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Mm. Oh, it's coming. All right, let me get to it. We're going to mm. talk. Oh, whoops. I forgot to put the picture in here. Let me add a source real quick. Mm. <laughs> I forgot to put a picture in here. There you go. Let me move it. 75 minutes? Jesus. How do I center this? Hold on. Damn it. Okay, hold up. I, I was trying to do the freaking who wants to be a millionaire that that song where the people comes up. You should be able to right click it and then can I like well transform or center on screen. Is it good? Uh it should be good. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah. <laughs> nice pro. Oh boy. Alrighty. Kind of was a 45 minute rant. Mm. Yeah. He had a lot to say about that I, topic. I wanted. Uh, I just want a good Marvel vs. Capcom game. Don't we all? Yeah. Alright. Now for this topic, um, I was going to say that maybe we should start from like. Maybe like the bottom to the top because now that I'm looking at this, the top seems like the most important uh, games to talk yeah, about. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go bottom up. But let's Start talk. But let's bottom. let's talk about Street Fighter Five first because we already know what we're gonna say about this. So let's just get it out of the way. Hey, Street Fighter at Evo. Yeah. 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 That's probably yeah. where gonna be the. That's probably where they're gonna announce the next DLC character. Where's season four? Or if they gonna announce anything for that game. Honestly. Yeah, cause, the same thing the 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 is Kage. Yeah. I hate it's, really... Uh, I hate rosters that look like they're unbalanced. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, it's jarring to look at. Like, it it looks like the... It feels something like like Mortal Kombat 11 where it's like round. So, it, it'll, so in a way, it's still kind of an even look because it's like a circular uh, character select that it's fine but it's not it looks yeah. hideous yeah it's jarring to look at because if they're and gonna add like any more characters after uh, Kage then they're gonna need to m open up a third row yeah, yeah. I have a feeling like they're just going to announce one character for that slot alone, and that's yeah, probably gonna, it. Yeah, they're going to announce the next character, and they're going to be like, hey, we're making the next Street Fighter game. That oh, sounds like more. Because I feel like that's what they're doing right now, is that they're working on the next Street Fighter game for the next generation. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, because yeah. it's on its way. PS5, probably going to come out next year. Next generation. Huh. Yeah, next generation. Uh, we're gonna get uh, that Xbox, whatever. Xbox Scarlet. And then Nintendo's gonna be behind again, as per usual. 
the switch is still gonna dominate because it's portable. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it's street, it's a Street Fighter game at Evo. I mean, yeah. If you did, if you expected to there to not have a Street Fighter game at Evo, then uh, you're <laughs> stupid. If you expected yes. Street Fighter to be out of Evo, I'm gonna need you to click off the stream yeah. real quick. Yeah, cause yeah, yeah. Capcom Capcom's gonna have one thing at Evo. Um, cause just. Yeah. Despite their fighting game reputation nowadays, they st they're still like renowned as like fighting game like legends in terms of making them. Yeah, honestly, Capcom made Evo not literally, but also literally. I guess they were yeah. they were part of the creation. I feel like they're responsible for it. Yeah, Street Fighter, just a Street Fighter, just a small Street Fighter tournament, and look what it became. Then some Japanese players showed up, and people were like, "Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa!" All right, uh, next. All right, let's start Same with. Yeah, I was gonna start with that because that's just kind of the outlier. Which one? Samurai Showdown. Samurai Showdown. Oh, okay. Because that's I'm pretty sure nobody expected Samurai Showdown, especially considering that the game is releasing a month or two before Evo. It's, it's not uh, like it's cross tag. Evo's got this trend of uh, announcing fighting games uh, that are going to be at Evo like a while before they're going to be released. With the exception of Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 11 released this week. Yeah. And Samurai Showdown, I think, releases in June. Someone needs to fact check that. But, um. I think it is June. Let me see. Okay. But it is exciting to see uh, an old, an old franchise be brought back. It is, it is, uh, you know, one of those more gore bloody, gory fighters. Yeah. Um, even though the, even though I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of gore in the, the recent Samurai Showdown game. It's not gore, but it's like blood. It's like yeah. A lot of yeah. blood. It's more blood, but less gore. It's not like the other. There was like one Samurai Showdown game, but that had. Gore in it, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know uh, which I don't one. Know. I I do know I've seen gameplay of this game, and you can cut someone in half, but it doesn't even look that bad. And I'm not even talking about the parts where the screen turns red or something. I'm talking about you can actually just cut someone in half, and you can see it, but it's not even that bad. Oh shit! It was, it was like yeah, it is. It's a it's a it's a footies based fighting game, right? Yes, like because it's, cause it's like samurais, you know, having to get a good strike in. You know, it's not like it's not like good, it's not like combo centric. Yeah, it's a very high risk, high reward game because damage yeah. is just super high. Yeah, which fits in with the, which fits in with the samurai theme. You yeah. can you can di disarm people too, and you can catch their weapons as well. It's pretty sick. Back then, samurai dueling was no bis was no joke. It's like you need to go in there and, and you d you die fighting or you die yourself. <laughs> oh, or if you go in and die fighting and or you die it had or you kill them. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise you otherwise uh, they'll be otherwise you'll be uh, shunned or uh, without honor. It's so or it's something that I learned in my Japanese class. Mm, nice. Yeah, because yeah, I've taken Japanese before. Well, not the language, of course, but I've learned some Japanese history before, and I've learned some most stuff about Samurais. Well, to be fair, I learned Samurais through Samurai Warriors, the game, the Kawaii Tecmo game. Right, but I started learning more about Samurais through my college class uh, years later. And I even went to Japan and then learned more about Samurais, so, yeah. Mm, that's pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Right. So, um... You could say it's uh, as uh, samurai is part of my uh, the knowledge, or at least I learned a lot about samurais. Alrighty. Well, other than what I just said, I got nothing for samurai. So I got nothing for samurai showdown. It looks fun, but I don't know how anticipated I am for the game. I, I'll uh -huh. probably buy it soon, but I don't think I'm gonna get it that soon. I'm I have a few things. I have, a, I have a few things to say about samurai actually. Sorry. Um. So, oh, um. Uh, Samurai Showdown looks neat to play. Hey, it it, it actually looks fun to play. Uh, some of the style, uh, some of the game like looks stylish, and 
it's Butch C based, but, based, but it's also really fun, looks really fun to play. The characters look nice and the art style is great, nice, but not sure how I feel about it being released before EVO though. Because that's what threw me off about Samurai Shoto, is that they announced it before EVO. Oh. So. Mm. Because, um, uh, because, uh, usually, uh, uh, let me look at Class Tag Battle. It, like, it was, like, announced, uh, uh, the game was, like, the game released before EVO because they wanted to get Cross Tag in EVO. Oh, so that's where the whole DLC debacle got in, but I'm pretty sure we'll get to that once we get to that, about the Cross Tag Battle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so, so yeah, but uh, other than that, I'd say Samurai Sh uh, Showdown looks w will look pretty neat this year. So, um, I may uh, watch that, so, yeah, so I may learn more about the game itself. Uh, not sure if I'll get the game, well, actually, I might get the game, uh, but I'm just uh, trying to figure out who I want to main in that game, so. Maybe the guy with the mask or some, the, not the Kabuki mask or other stuff, I'm talking about the, the, the guy with the white hair and stuff like that. I may try him out, but who knows? Yeah, I am currently done picking okay. up a fighting game blindly. I'm gonna wait for that fighting game to build its meta and then see if I want to pick it up. Yeah, because I made that mistake with Blaze Blue Cross Tag. Oof. And I Oof. don't like I don't like that game. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. So that's all I had to say about the showdown. Alright. You got anything, Rocking? Nah, I don't really got much to say about this. I mean, it's an SNK game. It's probably going to be solid. Uh, the graphics look better than what KOF 14 started with. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure... I don't know how long the success will be, considering it's an SNK game. But I do think it's going to last much longer than what KOF has had. I mean, I'm... I know I'm stereotyping right now, even though it's like low-key true, but everyone knows that the stereotype of KOF being a game that Hispanics play all the time, but does that also apply to like, to Samurai Showdown? Um, I don't think so. I've never seen anyone from there ever talk about Samurai Showdown. I don't know who plays Samurai Shodan. I'm like, I think Samurai Shodan is like more of a is more of a Japanese game. Like that obviously, like community, that community is more populated in the Japanese uh, area. Yeah, I was just seeing ah. if, if that was the the case. SNK Esports, the Samurai Shodan uh, uh, World Tour. Oh yeah, uh, that'd be interesting. Interesting. World Conquest. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, if we're gonna the, if we're gonna start naming things now, it would make sense uh, for the theme. Let's get that King of Fighters con. Let's get that King of Fighters uh, World Series going. Yeah. Call it, call it the King of Fighters tournament. The King of Fighters. Like for some reason, like. What's with these fighting game companies and not naming their World Series after stuff in their video games? To fit with the lore, yeah. Yeah, I mean, where's... Why isn't the Tekken World Series called the King of Iron Fist World Series? True. Hmm. Yeah, true. Uh, that would be... Uh, that would be sick, actually. Now that why I think it, about it. Why isn't the Cap... Why isn't the Capcom Pro Tour called the... World, like, the friggin'... What is... Like, but, the, the World Championship Series? But then again, uh, uh, to be, but then again, the people in Tekken don't really fight with the fists, more with the control sticks and arcade sticks and pads and all that stuff. Oh, the king of iron, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the king of iron king. buttons. Yeah, king of iron sticks. Oh, actually, that king would work. King of iron pads. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah. Alright, so, let's move on to Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! Uh, I hate that we had the same idea. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you did the same thing, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. We, were, we were so in sync, it was, was like, not even funny. Is there an echo in here or something? <laughs> <laughs> was I, thinking, of, I thought I said it so loud that I could hear myself. Speaking of that theme, that trailer was... Right? <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that, that, 
That launch that trailer remix, is very good. That remix is dope. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like how the Nether the guys in Nether Realm have decided have decided to uh, shift their viewpoint on wanting to reference the uh, movies and yeah. now embrace it. They finally yeah. embrace it. And as a matter of fact, the guy who plays Shane Soon in the crypt trailer yeah, was he's... it's the same it's the same guy from the movie. I think he's the yeah, I think he's the exact same character model. Like and Something like, like they, that. I think I think they scanned him for Shang Tsung. Yeah. Which is always a which is always a good reference. Yeah. That guy plays a pretty good Shang Tsung. And speaking of that movie, um at the lamp party I was telling you about last night, we were actually they were actually showing that movie. I've never seen the movie. It's it's pretty good. I would give Not it a watch. I the only thing I really know about it is uh you know the Easter eggs that I've been told about. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty good movie. Um, it's definitely one of the very few earlier video game movies that is, that is like faithful to its source material, so, and not to throw in some bullshit uh, and make it bad or something like that. But yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Uh, I'd say. It, sure, there are some like corny stuff here and there, and here, but. Uh, but then again, uh, like some of the fight scenes are uh, basically Power Rangers stuff, or some stuff you see in Power Rangers. But other than that, I'd say it's some worth watching if you're a Mortal Kombat fan. And because, like I said, it it is definitely faithful to a Switch material. It's uh, definitely a lot better than Annihilation. I'll tell you that much. The second Mortal Kombat movie that came out. Uh, Which was the one where they had Johnny Cage and Scorpion fighting in the Nether Realm? That was the first one. Okay, was that the like the good one? Yeah, that, that was a good one. Okay, because that fight was actually fun to watch when I seen it. Yeah, it, that's actually one of my favorite fight scenes of the movie. I have been live for just over an hour. By this point in your broadcast, you should have consumed at least four oh, ounces yeah. of water to maintain optimum stay- hydration. The legendary Stay Hydrated bot. Hey, what's poppin' what? stay hydrated, but What a coincidence. I'm drinking water right now. <laughs> when did uh, you I drink some water a few minutes ago. Interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms of the game, Mortal Kombat, um it looks solid. I really wanna buy it because I think it looks fun to play. And I wanna try out this this colorful cast of characters. Yeah. Hold up. Okay, Nether- uh, I was texting someone. Yeah, Nether Realms definitely stepped up their presentation compared to the last game. You're gonna ban Stay Hydrated Bot show? <laughs> what does Stay Hydrated Bot do to you? Guess he prefers Gatorade. Shit. Oh, shit. And then is we got a solid cast of characters. We got some that were initially uh very that had initially very mixed reactions i think people are more growing to accept these uh changes you know instead of having three just regular bars of meter we got a defense we got two defense bars we got um we got two uh offense bars i believe that's what they're used for yeah that's what the uh, water didn't help me when i was eating spicy noodles (laughs) Yeah, we got these. We got these crushing blows. Oh yeah, Yeah. those are beefy. We got these finishing blows, which are which is essentially uh, akin to Tekken's rage mechanic. When you're at low enough health, you can use those finishing blows. Which you can only use them once per match if you hit it. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, um, if you miss the fatal blow, you'll get another chance to try again. But as soon as you hit it, you are not allowed to use it ever again. But the rest of the match. Yeah. And for the rest of that round or for the rest of the game? For the rest of the, the game. game. Same for crushing blows. Oh. That's interesting. So you yeah. really gotta uh, consider what crushing blows you want to use. I mean, if you're gonna do the universal um, uppercut crushing blow, you should. Pr- I pr- I'm pretty sure everyone should be prepared for that because at any point someone could get a counter hit on that. 
So like, and the first counter hit um, up with your uppercut is uh, is the crushing blow for that. Mm. Um, and you can only do that specific crushing blow once, uh, just like any other ones, uh, per game, not per uh, per round. So it's oh, probably yes. good to like lab uh, an uppercut combo after uh, after that, just yeah. so you can be on the safe side. Yeah, and then we've got. Uh, uh, fatalities being even more gross than before. Which is you what know, should I, happen in the Mortal Kombat game. Yeah, I've seen I've seen uh, all the fatalities in this game. Some are gruesome. Yeah. <laughs> and some Do, are just really some are really funny. Some of, I I think one of the with the fatalities that I was grossed out at was the one with Devora where she like turned your body into like a literal bug. Ugh. I think uh, that's I, that's the one that was the one that got me actually the first time I saw it I was like oh god because I really don't like bugs uh, like yeah. <laughs> at, at all that that's probably what uh, why that uh, that got me a little because I really hate bugs yeah one, I feel it one that got me was Garrus's second fatality where he uh, where he throws you up against a sand wall and then rips. Uh, the like ha like half of your body off like fa ha like like not as in like half of your body like the torso no half of your entire body like f like your facing forward part like just gone and then all the like guts are flying out from it and mm. then it just it just looks painful you, you know what's fun to look at though the the Shao Kahn one where he like pokes you or uh, golfs your head out of your body. Oh yeah, that yeah, one was fun head... to look at. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like a what or it's like it, it how is that even possible? It's like it just like uh, goes your head just like goes through your body and then out of your out of your bag. It's like huh? <laughs> yeah. But again, but again, it's Mortal Kombat. Yeah. How does Johnny use uh, his end like a ventriloquist dummy? Bro, it's Johnny. Like, yeah. he just answered the question. Yeah, exactly. It's Johnny Cage. <clears throat> I'm trying but to I, look for that I, I really, Garrus. I really want to play Johnny. Speaking of Garrus, um, I heard his crushing blows are like uh, really beefy compared to anyone, everyone else. Like, well, I saw I a tweet. Think, like, I saw I a think tweet of. Tanker. Yeah. Like I've seen a tweet oh, earlier today nice. about him having uh, a lot of crushing bolts that can instantly kill you. Well, not instantly kill you, but like uh, if you do a lot of them in a row, it could like get drain your health uh, fast more than anyone else. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, a, Wait, they censored that quote. The fe uh, Johnny's. I F think that was. I think that was in the. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, huh. the like the uh, like, fuck you, fuck the, you, the end, yeah, the fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck yeah. you. Oh yeah, did they really take that out? No, Dude. I don't think they took that out. I think they might have censored it. Wow, that's lame. It's an M rating game. Like, why do they gotta censor that stuff Bro, out? Y y okay, okay, let's talk about this real quick. This is Mortal Kombat, an M-rated game. This is for mature audiences. It's always been brutal. You, If you bought Mortal Kombat expecting to see some of the nicer things in life and not some totally gross stuff, then you actually are just one of the, just very dumb or you don't play a lot of video games, even though it says Mortal Kombat. This game exactly. is a violent yeah. game, and the developers are worrying about how their female fighters are dressed when we can look inside their bodies and rip out their intestines and their brains. And yeah. the, what you decide to worry about is what they're wearing. Yeah. That just blows my mind. Uh, these characters look great anyways. Like, There's going to be people that find them to be sexually appealing anyways. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm guilty rule, of that. Rule 34, come on. I I personally find Katana in 11 way, way attractive, even without all her sexy get up. Get up. That's probably her best outfit. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. they should have not told us that. I mean, if that was their intentions, I mean, it's whatever, but they shouldn't have told us that because this is Mortal Kombat we're talking about, a mature rated game. 
where we're going to be seeing worse things than sexual outfits. Yeah, it's fu- I'm yeah. fine. Uh, yeah, gruesome ass fatalities. They're fine, but yeah. like, but like Johnny can't say the fuck word. Core <laughs> beliefs, man. <laughs> I yeah, actually core like, values. I actually core like values. a lot of females look in this game. I never liked how they all looked the same with their breasts out and stuff. Scarlet and Katana look at me. And see, I agree I agree with the part that they look even better in this game. I personally don't care about them like showing off and all that because it's a mature rated game. I'd expect mature stuff. Yeah. It's an M rated game. It's like you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna <coughs> show audiences are like I'm like it's an M rated game. It's like people don't know how to use the rated system anymore. I mean, I know it's not dead or alive, but come on, it's Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I, will, I will admit that it is a lot more practical of an outfit. Yeah, it it's fine. Yeah, it's like, like, what's like, I under like, you know, stuff like st- stuff like the Street Fighter stuff like the Street Fighter characters wear yeah. are sexy, but they're also practical. Yes. Yes. And I think that's what Mortal Kombat is trying to go for a more more practical outfits. Because I don't think you're, you're like really gonna unless you're Melina. Yeah. You can't you, you can't really use uh lewdness to your advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Also you have to consider that most of the outfits in Street Fighter are iconic like Cammy's and Chun Li's. Well, I mean, so are the Mortal Kombat outfits, but I think... Yeah, yeah, true. They're just not as practical as, you know, the... As some Street Fighter outfits, because, like, um... You know, Cammy's, for example, is just... Is a tactical... Uh, is a tactical outfit that helps her move around a lot more. It's a skin-tight leotard, but, I mean, it helps her move. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't saying that the ones in MK weren't practical. I was just saying, or uh, I was just saying like that those some of the outfits in their yeah, game were iconic. Yeah, I know. I I get that. I'm just saying that they're that they're trying to go for on a, like redesigning them to be more of a practical look. You know. Right. Yeah. I get like, you. I get what you mean. Yeah. Honestly, I would like to see them bring back the classic uh, uh, MK uh, outfits for the likes of Katana or Scorpion or. Yeah, I would appreciate but, the option. Yeah, uh, for uh, obvious reasons. I, I want to acknowledge a uh, Rodas uh, comment real quick. I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh, how he said, "Um, I don't no, care about seeing cleavage and skin. It's just that in nine, they all had this sex, this generic sexy ninja look, barely any personality. And if you're just if you're just talking about like how generic they all look, then that's a much better point because uh." Like they all kind of look the same in. Uh, yeah, if you were just if you just had like Katana, Jade, and Molina and all their default outfits, they essentially look the same with yeah. minor differences. They That's look- basically like MK two in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you put it in, if you look in the light, that that's kind of how that it's always been with the ninjas and the and the female ninjas as well. But yeah, I think. But I think the thing is that we're trying to evolve from that trend yeah. you know, of of having these characters that look uh, nearly the same because of, you know, the different the differentiation from, you know, Scorpion and Sub Zero and how you know in how uh Ermac doesn't look like a ninja anymore. Uh Rain still Rain has a much more uniqueness to him. Um yeah. and even and even though Scorpion and Sub Zero still look very still look similar to each other, they don't look as similar as they used to. Yeah. Freaking noob Cybot with the frick with the axe in the back. Oh yeah, noob Cybot. I, I believe that's not an axe, more like a sickle. Sickle yes. in the back. Yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's got that sickle. I don't know weapon names. I I, I didn't even think of the the name of it. It's got a hook. Yeah. Man. yeah. They wow. never call him noob Cybot in in the story. They call him by his real name, Bihan. Yeah, Bihan. I don't think I don't think they know they know him by noob Cybot. I think they just know him by Bihan. Does Noob Saibot know himself by Noob Saibot? I'm pretty sure he calls himself Noob Saibot. Or, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me because he, like, threw himself away with that name. Or yeah. after Quan Chi was stored him. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, back to, like, what I was saying really quick. 
Like, I don't mind these new outfits. In fact, I encourage them because they look way better. But yes. if your reasoning is because you want to tone down the, the sexual appeal, then one, that's never going to happen. And two, th you see the male characters, and some of them have topless attire, just like um, newer Kano has his topless yeah. attire. So that's very unfair and also very... Uh, okay, I don't know about... Ver it's very unpractical in terms of like a fight to the death, but I mean, if exactly, it's... yeah. But at the same time, I guess it's not one hundred percent impossible because, like, who's to say that you won't be put into a situation where you'll be in the fight and you won't have anything that you need? And I would say something else, but oof, I can't. Mm. Freaking. Well, I'm, I'm excited to uh, see how this game plays out uh, when Evo rolls around in August. Yeah. Oh, and I would like to make one last comment about these shorter combos. It was kind of worrying me at first that there, because there's always been something that Mortal Com that Street Fighter did that Mortal Kombat took from the uh, borrowed from them, and for this game, it seems to be not the footsie style gameplay, but rather the short combos. That's what I'm worried about. And it seems that there is a, a bit of diversity in this game, besides the variations. But what worries me is that you'll see start seeing like the same exact combos over and over again, rather than like the same few options, to that could lead into a similar amount of uh, ratio of damage, or a similar damage output. I mean. And that's yeah. that's just what worried, and it it seems that my worries might be relieved because the combos don't don't one hundred percent seem to be the same, especially with the adding crushing blows into the mix. I think that this is that this game is actually going to be much better than I anticipated. Yeah, yeah. And do uh, you guys want to talk about that uh, leaked DLC list? I have not like, seen it actually. I'd actually prefer not to see it. There are some interesting choices in that. Yeah, yeah. List. I heard there was gonna be like, uh, you say you didn't didn't want to hear it, or rocking didn't uh, want to hear it. I said okay. I prefer to, but at the you know, I, it's DLC. Who knows if it's gonna be true or not? It's it's leaked. I just well, didn't know I mean, you wanted. It, want it, it was data mined from uh, the Nintendo Switch version. Oof, because that is the because you know I think the sw the switch aside from the PC version is uh an easy uh, way to is has an easy system to data mine things from because we got Smash data mines up the wazoo. Oh, true. And you know, and like you can still like use those kind of techniques to data mine Mortal uh, other games such as Mortal Kombat. So we got the entire we got um. Uh, what we know so far is the DLC list, which I think spans across multiple seasons. Because I don't know how many characters that this first season's supposed to have, but last time I heard, I think it's supposed to be six. Six, huh? Six. Yeah. And we know the first character is Quan Chi. No. Shang Tsung. And we have a lot more than six characters in that DLC list. Oh boy. I was gonna talk about this comment real quick. It's true. I mean, Scarlet, and she only has like two big combos, and it's kind of boring. However, crushing blows, uh, you can get big stuff. But so far, this game feels way better than MKX, and I really like it. There were some people. Uh, I'm just making this quick comment, and then I, I think I'll be done for like all the stuff that I want to talk about that isn't story related. Um, there's. I've heard from some people that they really, uh, well, not in person maybe, but there's some people that said that they like how this game plays and they were excited for it, but they kind of get the same feeling that I have with Smash Ultimate where they, they kind of miss MK, uh, MKX because they put so much time into that game and there's probably a thing or two that reminds them of MKX. That's every game that has a, that's every game that has a predecessor, you know? When Street Fighter Five came out, like everyone missed Ultra, Ultra Four. When Marvel Infinite came out, everyone missed Marvel Three. Yeah, but it's 
it's kind of different for me uh, it personally because when I played Smash 4 I never really missed Brawl like I was happy to move on when I played Smash Ultimate there were so many similarities to 4 that I kind of missed that game that's just how I felt yeah I mean I don't think people missed Brawl because it wasn't a hard game to not miss yeah I like to say something about Mortal Kombat before we move on to the next game. Sure. Hey, Spit it. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But I played the, I've only played this game like two times. One time with Rockin and one time at the LAN party, which I did fairly good. I got like, I got to like winner's finals at least, so that's good. But then I got knocked down to losers and then lost my first match there, so yeah. As far as this game goes, I I like how it feels or how it plays. Certainly, I was a little skeptical about this game at first because like it would be more like uh, slow down, like footsie heavy base games. Uh, I was I was more of a fan of the rushdown system back at MKX, even though it's a uh, uh, even though most people didn't, but I still like it. But I, after playing it a few times, I'd say it's a pretty good game, game for me to lab at. However, I probably won't get it soon, soon, but not really soon. And I'll probably just go wait for like the sale to go up or something like that. At, at, and as for the story, I'll probably just watch it on YouTube or something like that. Because I heard it doesn't really make any sense as far as story goes, but um, yeah. I mean... Uh, I'm, I'm, but as for DLC characters, I'm just waiting for to see what they announce. I just hope Cyrex gets in. Or try and work, whichever the two. Oh, I'll be really happy if if I see a cyborg ninja of sorts. Please I give mean, me Cyrax and Sector back. I really like those characters. Same, actually. That's what I'm hope hope of. That's who I'm hoping for to see come back. But I'm I'm just gonna say this. Anything. I'm just gonna say this because like they were in the trailers, so I'm just gonna say it anyways. They put. I don't understand what's up with NetherRealm Studios and making boss or, or fights with characters that aren't playable. With MKX, it was a uh, Rain and Baraka, and I think Sindel. And in this game, it's Cyrax and Sector. Like, you're gonna give us a full move set of Cyrax and Sector, but you're not gonna put them in the game. You can just retool a couple things. I know that they don't. It, they probably don't have the full variations, but like, you're not gonna. It's just like with the st the Street Fighter Five story mode, how they have DiCaprio. That's a full move set, maybe a super. I don't know. I never seen it if if she has one, but they never put her in the game. Like why? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's that's really dumb too. You're gonna make this character just to be seen once or twice in the story mode, just to throw them away, not to be used late uh, ever again later uh, in the game's lifespan. It never made sense to me. Just a placeholder. Just a placeholder. That's yeah. unfortunate. Like I know I remember Tanya playing a lot different in the current version of MKX rather than how she plays in the story mode. Because yeah. in MKX's story mode, she looks like she played almost similar to K Katana, but with like, like she has like fireball moves and stuff like that. In this game, in the current version of MKX, she has all her variations with like the Nagiradas, the Tom Fu's, all all that stuff, and the freaking uh, fire specials and all that stuff. I'm really enjoying the lab and portion of MK11. Same, except I got school projects to do. Unfortunate. Yeah, well, I guess that's kind of the. If you enjoy labbing the game, then I guess that then as a developer, you're doing something right because then that kind of in, uh, makes you want to put try yeah. on uh, actual people or at least CPUs. Yeah, because in MK11, there's like a lot of things you could do in labbing. Like, uh, for example, in the move set, uh, set or the move list, I like I like all the images that they use to like what like what's this thing like like what how this hits him like it, this is uh, unblockable. All that all those images are really nice indicators in my opinion. I wish there were video examples to show what the moves are, so that I don't necessarily have to hit up training mode in order to see what the moves actually do. Because yeah. I, I just want it to be a little bit clearer. Kind of like how Tekken does with it, its moves list, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I would like to see that too. Yeah. So yeah, 
all in all, I'd say MK11 is a good game, but I pro though I probably won't uh, spin it right away at A or soon. I'll probably just wait for a uh, sale to go up or some announcements uh, drop for it, and I'll probably just like spin. Uh, I'll probably just get DMC5 before this. So yeah. Hey. By the way, I still haven't got that game, so I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said I will, but I'm still working on it. I feel it. Yeah. All good. All good. I'm not gonna lie, and I just remember the game had microtransactions, but let's forget about that for now. <laughs> let's just talk about the good stuff. Yeah. I mean, okay. they're not... I mean, they're not bad microtransactions, so to say, but yeah, let's yeah. move on. Yeah. That's all That's all I got to say for MK11. Soul Calibur 6. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it exists. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just... <laughs> look, I, I yeah, like... Still we still don't know what's next DLC character. I, I reason... like Tubi and I like Ivy Valentine, but I don't really care that much about Soul Cal. I'll play if you if the homies ask to play. But what what system do you have it for? PS4. Ah, uh, okay. Because I have it for PS4 too. Yeah, I'll just lab up Ivy real quick and maybe like, uh, what was it? someone else I was labbing in that game? Uh, oh yeah, Talum. Um. I forget who I was playing in that game. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I really care. My interest in this game. Oh yeah, Taki. Yeah, that's hot about it. I'm sorry. What? My interest peaked at 2B, and that's about it. Yeah. Yes. And that's the last DLC character they announced besides uh, who was it? Amy. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah. Isn't there supposed to be a few more? I believe there's like two more. There's 2B, <laughs> Amy, and like two more. I oh. hope either. I hope either Cassandra or Yunsung get in the game, or Han. Does uh, Terra no count as the character in the DLC? Does Terra count? Mm -hmm. Or is she just a, like Shao Kahn, or she's just a pre-order bonus? I think Terra was a pre-order bonus. That's it, yeah. right. Pretty much. Because they like announce her as like a DLC pre-order pre bonus, which rustles some jimmies of some players. Is Soul Calibur going to be a CEO? I not, don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, uh Jibele never said anything like that. Or do never we, announced anything. Do we even have a game roster for CEO? I think not. Not that I'm aware of. CEO 2019 roster. If it, if it did, then I would have missed it. Same. Not the Jimmies. Well, I mean, we know when it's going to be. It's going to be in like... The last few days of June. Probably. Oh, there is a... I think there is a game library for it. Yep. Oh, it yeah. is? Yes, yeah, Street Fighter Five. We got Mortal Kombat 11. We got Smash Ultimate. We got Tekken 7. Dragon Ball Fighters. Melee. Exard Rev 2. Cross Tag Battle. And yes, Soul Calibur 6 is on there. Oh, among, yeah. Among other games. Yeah. Hannah, I'll be right back real quick. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Alrighty. Alright. Let me, uh. Look. I need to look this up. This roster of game. Yes. Daytona. But Soul Calibur 6 is gonna be there, so. Hopefully, we might get a little teaser there for some future content. Hopefully. And, and then they'll announce some stuff at Evo. But I think fighting game like our fighting games are saving their major announcements for Evo. Yeah, that's what it's, I mean. It is the WrestleMania of fighting games. Yeah. And then we're gonna get. Uh, I feel like we might get some some little teases here and there, like. But I think after that, but I think if we don't get anything there, we'll get um, some stuff at. Uh, Evo, which is where usually the fighting game announcements are at. Yeah. Uh, Macalibur of Souls. And that's that's all I really got to say about Soul Calibur. <coughs> yeah. I got nothing. I just like the some of the female characters, and then I like the I really like the guest character practices that they have. And I kind of, I kind of miss the um, console exclusive uh, 
was it ca uh, special guest characters I kind of miss how they were console exclusive but at the same time that just means every single ca every single uh, version of the game will have one or two uh, less characters than it would have because you know, yeah Link is not going to be on the PS2 for sure mm, I'm back yeah yeah I was talking about Link being on the PS2. Oh, what? Because <laughs> like, I was saying, the only things I really like about Soul Calibur are like, some of the female characters and the guest characters. I mean, I like some of the male characters, but come on. You know what I am. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wasn't Link on the GameCube version? <coughs> <itself? coughs> yeah, the, I was saying, I miss how they had those character or console exclusive <laughs> guest characters. And oh, I yeah. said that it, it, in a way it kind of sucks because that means you'll have like two characters missing or one character depending if you're going to like four and Soul Calibur four and five. Where it yeah, it'll just, it'll just make it'll just make tournament play a little tricky. Yeah, but at the same time, you take a care. Link is not going to be on the PS2, so yeah. without yeah. proper emulation or company rights. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Um. Uh, I do like the roster uh Soul Calibur 6. Uh, the only characters I'm hoping for are either Cassandra or Yunsung. Like, I do like Sumina, don't get me wrong, but I also wish uh, wish Cassandra and Yunsung were there. Those are the two, like, my other most played characters in Soul Calibur 2. Is Cassandra the one that had the the super where she sits on you? In 4, yes. Oof. That's all I wanted to know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That's all I all that's all I I can really think about for Soul Calibur, to be honest. Yeah. I heard yeah. The, game's, the game's fun to play, so that's all I got to say about it for now. Yeah. And speaking of uh speaking of crossovers, um Tekken seven. Oh yes. Oh boy. Holy smokes. Last time we talked about this game, I think uh, I think uh, all of the all of season two have uh, I, uh, in the of that time in this time, uh, all of season two has come out. Pretty much, yeah. We got we got Armor King, we got Marduk, we got uh, Julia. We got Julia. We got uh, who's the first two characters? We, it was Lay. Oh, yeah, Lay and Anna. Yeah, it's Lay and Anna. Yeah, we got uh, and then we got Marduk, we got uh, Armor King, and then we got Julia and Negan from The Walking Dead. Did you guys know that Negan from the Tekken Seven has his own TV series? What? No way! No, oh, yeah, I'm stoked about it. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that the TV series has its own video games? What? <laughs> Did you know Noctis also has his own game? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, also Geese and Akuma. Those two are also from other games. You're killing me, Smalls. This... Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, I actually bought Noctis a while ago. Um, Noctis is pretty cool. I like him. <laughs> yeah, he's fun to play. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't gotten back into the swing of things with... Tekken, or e or even any other fighting game that's on this list that I have played, uh, say for Smash Brothers, because uh, I've been playing that a lot. Uh, whenever I'm not playing Devil May Cry Five, yeah, but same. Um, it's it's because I mean I've I've loaded up a few times just to like try try out Noctis, but uh, yeah. Um, I don't really have much to say except for. Hopefully we'll get some season three stuff. Yeah, they did announce season three, but they never really announced the characters. But at the same time, they take forever. They announced to make season characters. three. Yeah, but they did. They never. They didn't actually announce a season three um, character uh, DLC characters. They just announced that there is a season three, but I think it's primarily for the uh, Tekken World Tour. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're in. I think we're in season three for the World Tour. Yeah, but we're we're not in season three for the game yet. And I wasn't it like 
Tekken last year, the one they announced season two for the game. Yeah, yeah. last year. Yeah, Evo, they announced uh Anna and Lei. Lei. And then season and then just season two. And then hopefully this year they'll announce uh season three and we'll get some uh new information about that. If they do announce season three, the only characters I can think of that'll probably join are like Christy and uh, and Bruce. Those are like my only two though those are the only two characters I can think of that that I think have a higher chance of getting in more than maybe anyone some, else. Maybe Jim some more Pachi. guest characters. Yeah. Um or and I think this is a very big or um we could get some Tekken Cross Street Fighter information. I thought he was gonna say Dante. Oh God! <laughs> I wish, but that's never gonna happen. Uh, I think te- because Tekken Cross Street Fighter is still a game that's in development, and that Bandai Namco have not given up on. It's yeah. uh, Arabic, but, it, it's but, it's basically. Oh, sorry. It, but they're still waiting. Yeah. Alright, here's my prediction for season three. There's a. Uh, uh, Christy, Mon- uh, Christy uh, Bruce, Ivan, uh, Gon Ryu, Wayne, and then probably some big crazy guest character. Another one, probably Kazuma Kiryu, if, or someone like that. Oh yeah, everyone keeps requesting uh, yeah, Kazuma Kiryu from uh, yeah Yakuza. Yes, and Beg maybe. No. But here's the thing: uh, uh, Huawei has some uh, has like some of his stuff, uh, some stuff that Beg has, that like his parry move, where he like, uh, where he, like like he, just like his mid parry that he, where he like crosses his arms and stuff like that. Like uh, Beg, that was a uh, Beg's original parry move, and ha- Huawei has that in this game now. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And other than that, that's probably the only th- thing I can think of. If they're gonna put TV characters in, they should just put the dude from Megalobox that goes by the name Joe. That'd be tight. Wintongo Takeshi. Oof. And if any, if anyone knows who that is, that's basically Common Rider. Yeah. The very first one. I hear crickets. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I wish yeah. I could. I should just watch these just so I can see the hype around it, but. Yeah, the, well, it, uh, it's not really much, but it's more like a casual thing, but yeah, I recommend giving them a try. Is there like a way I can just look up the episodes and then, uh, or are, they, or are they on the streaming service? There's a few places to go, but they're rare to find. The best bet is like look up certain clips on YouTube and stuff like that. Well, okay. Because some of this stuff... Uh, because some of the stuff you either have to download it personally or go to some other site. I, the only place I can think of is like Kiss Asian, Asian, but you have to like yeah, that place is riddled with ads up the wazoo. Oh, Ooh. that's why I got the ad block up the wazoo. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't do that actually. They, the, they're. It's, they, it's one of those ads, or did they just block the video completely? Yeah, they blocked the video completely. Just because like, of it. just like Kiss Anime. Yes, it's one of those sites. <laughs> I remember when that happened to me. <gasps> yeah, I was uh, like, oh no. <laughs> but anyway, back to Tekken Seven, and but those are like my predictions because the uh, is either Christy, Ivan, Gon Ryu, Wayne, and probably another guest character who. I'm hoping Ryu Hasuki is one of them, uh, is a guest character in this game. You know, Ryu from Shinmu. Oh, oh Shinmu. Yes. Yeah, that's like one of my main picks for Tekken 7, because it, it would fit so perfectly, in, in my opinion. Either either him and Ryu, either Ryu in Tekken 7 or DOA 6, or the next Virtual Fighter game. Just put Akira in the game. Give us Virtual Fighter X Tekken. Yeah, that's be. Isn't that'd be... Akira in Dead or Alive? Oh yeah, he well, wasn't one of them. I think five. He was in Day Away Five. Yes. 
Yeah, they're supposed to put uh, my. <laughs> and they put yeah, they did put my in that game. Yeah, and, and they're putting, and, and they're supposed to add my back into DOA six, and then another KOF character. Honestly, I want to see Angel from KOF into DOA. Either Angel, or if they really want to get to me, uh, Rock Howard. <laughs> yeah. See, they... I, I have more respect for DOA games now, uh, these days, but I still don't find it that interesting, especially with uh, the fact that the stages aren't leveled. Yeah. Well, I, I should say some stages aren't leveled. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I got nothing else. So, yeah. let's I'll, bring it. Let's bring it right along to uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, Here it comes. It's coming. I could seriously care less about this game. I remember when Shell was playing this game, and it looked interesting, considered uh, with seeing how he played it. With uh, yeah. I think it was a. Uh, I almost called him Ryu. God damn. What's his name? Ragna and Hazama. Yeah. It was fun to see them with that team. It was a very show like team, but it was still fun to watch and play. But that's about it. I the game is just too simple for me. The moves are just too butchered. I, I'm a Linne player in Undernight and I wanna play her in Blaze Blue, but then I tried her, uh, from a friend's copy and saw how butchered her moveset was and I said, Nope. Yeah, I wanted to play Gordo how I played Gordo in Undernight. And uh, he's not at all how he plays. I'm sure that they could still somehow make it so they can play the same way that they do. I know that the the systems uh what am I saying? The the gameplay isn't 100% the same, but that doesn't mean in, or at least in my per point of view, that does it uh, doesn't seem like the each different system or uh, rules of the of their fighting games would clash because they're still really uh really similar to each other considering that their arc system works uh created or published games yeah who knows i might give gordo ruby another shot one of these days hey because that's my team yeah i'm well, I'm gonna, i the last time i played a game it was either with hyde and yang those are like my two main characters yeah. Yeah. Now, I have a few things to say about cross tag battle. Oh, and. Uh, so, um, I actually do like this game a lot. It, I, uh, I was a little skeptical about buying it at first, but after playing it a few times, I really liked it. I can see why people don't like it because of how simple it is with all the simple combos and the simple fight characters and stuff like that. But I just I just wanted to play uh, play the characters in the game for the sake of playing the characters. That's all the reason why I decided to give it a shot. Mainly for Yang and and yeah, mainly for uh, the Ruby characters uh, and stuff like that. And um uh also um uh, I don't think that's what, but I don't think the simplified stuff is what's getting people or uh, uh, hold on a sec. Uh, I, Mm. It got bliss um, blue. It got persona. Yeah, I speaking of persona, God. Oh. I just give me give me some persona five stuff. Persona can five arena. Can that be the next fate? Persona five. Because uh, because we, okay, we so, oh, I'm ahead. sorry. Sorry about that. I someone was talking to me. Uh, will you say something? Like I didn't want to cut you off. Persona. I was just saying, like over, over, like you know, what then? Can we have the next fate be Persona Five? Because I'm sick of seeing Persona Four. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying earlier before I decided, but I cut myself off, is that uh, I don't think that's what's uh, I don't think that's what's uh, killing the game for me, it, because I've been the uh, drifted more towards away from it. It's the lack. It's the lack of an announcement is what's getting to me. And how long it takes for them for them to announce stuff? Because the last announcement they did was like over a year ago, I think. Because this game was like one year old now. Then I think they announced something at Evo Japan. Yeah, the the other characters like Teddy, Seth, and Naoto and Hart. 
Yeah, and Arcana Heart as the next fate. Yeah. And we're supposed uh, to get another one. Yeah. As well. But that that I think that's what's killing the, the game because uh, we don't know ha being left in the dark of all this other ish uh, new stuff that's like uh, we don't know when it's, this is going to be released or when is the next fate going to be announced or when's a anything really. Like, Street Fighter Five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A, um, I've seen a. a coefficient made made a video about this and I think I've seen anyone uh, someone else made a video about it but I forgot who but yeah I would uh, but uh, yeah all in all I'd say uh, I do like the game it's just that I wish they get better with announcing stuff that's only all I have to say about it so yeah they took forever with their DLC exactly yeah and then, uh, so I guess we don't have anything else to talk about for Blaze Blue. So, let's move it right along to Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh boy. As if we didn't have enough to say about this game already. Um, oh, here it comes. As we know, Kid Goku, or rather Goku GT. I keep calling him Kid Goku for some reason. Um, He's a kid, so. Kid yeah, GT. Well, Goku GT comes out May 9th. All by himself. Damn. And so far, now we know five out of six DLC characters. Jiren and Videl, already out. Kid Goku, coming out uh, May 9th, as I said. Uh, there's one more character after him. And then, after that, we got Gogeta Blue and Dragon Ball Super Broly. Another Broly, yay! Mm-hmm. But honestly, I don't think I've um I don't think I've been interested in Dragon Ball Fighters DLC since Jiren and, and Videl. I I really wish that they didn't really announce um uh, Gogeta and Broly so soon because now that we only expect two characters at least uh, and right now we expect one uh, because we could have had there was so much uh, potential for different uh, characters to be DLC, but after just having everything exposed like that, and seeing that it's characters that I kind of don't, uh, I'm not feeling it with this season of DLC characters. It's bad enough that I don't really like the game that much, but f at least I could get excited for the DLC characters, and that's what happened last uh, season. And I was really yeah. hyped for some of those DLC characters. Yeah, um, I. Uh, I'm dis I assume the reason they announced uh, Gogeta Blue and Dragon Ball Super Broly as soon as they did was due to the fact that the movie was coming out yeah. and, they wanted, and they wanted to capitalize on that hype but now the hype has dwindled no one cares, they just wanted to come out <laughs> yeah so, I one more character in between which we don't know yeah Gimme freaking uh Kale or Kefla. You no, know, give me Master Roshi and give him a jetpack or something because he can't fly. I'm pretty sure the rule of thumb for DLC characters is if they can fly, they can be in this game. Because yep, you can yep. just make a random move set for them anytime. I mean, they kind of did that with Videl, but she's still fit not only because she is a fighter, but because she can fly. Give Hercule a jetpack. And then put him in this game. Shriek told well, me he has a jetpack. Yeah, unfortunately, they're never gonna add Hercule because no one likes because they don't like uh, joke characters. No, sad. You can debate that Videl is a joke character because she's like, come come on, she's not that strong. Well, I mean, a, a lot of people wanted Jiren. her. A lot of people really wanted her. That's true. She's that bridge because she's that gray area between being jokey and serious, even though she is a very serious character. Yeah. She also has uh, Gohan in uh, Great Sam and Alfred helping her. Yeah. She's also got two costumes, which is the only a difference in her hair. Yeah. Yeah. Because people are having massive debates whether a short hair Videl or long hair Videl is better than the other. It's just Videl. Come on. Just yeah. Just Monica, except Videl. Hmm. 
Um, that's all I can really say about this game. I hope <sighs> this game takes too long. Oh yeah, Fighters isn't having a Sunday spot. Yeah, which is yeah. weird. Like, uh, <coughs> it's Blaze Blue, Tekken, uh, Smash, and Street Fighter that's getting the Sunday spots. Yeah. Obviously, everything Copy else is Saturday, so. which is which is going to be awfully hard on them because. You know, a bunch of the set, a bunch of the Saturday games are going to be high entrance games. Yeah. But hey, it's Shuisha. Yeah, Shuisha. Sh yeah. Um, but as far as Dragon Ball Fighters goes, um, my I used to like this game a lot back then when it was first announced. I thought this looks really cool and. After playing it a few times, I kind of lost it. my interest for this game. Kind of died down the more I played it. It and um, I took a break for one time, and then came back. And it's like my interest had started continuing to go down as we speak, and I just kind of fell off the radar as far as you know, as far as content goes. And because I didn't really care much about the other characters that were being released soon, and I wasn't having that much fun with the game to be honest. And I still think the, I still think it's stupid how every character has only one assist for each type, or for uh, has only one assist for uh, for each match. So, and you're only restricted to that assist. It not really the good assist. The more I think about it, but yeah, fighters. Um, I, I do. Uh, I just uh, don't know if I wanted to get back into it or not, but. I still have the copy of the game, uh, and I've been debating on whether I should return that copy or not, but who knows. I'm in a similar boat to you. Uh, I bought the game digitally, so I can't really do that, but uh, I've been neglecting this game for a long time. But I'm not sure if that's because I don't like it or because I've been busy. I think it's because I've been busy. And I'm pretty sure if I just give it the time and day to lab then I think I'll be good. Because I I really liked playing this game. Um, I, I played Bardock, Vegeta, and Goku Black. And uh, they're not as fun as uh, they first were. And I think a lot of that has to do with this Season 2 balancing. Which uh, kind of hurt my team in a lot of different ways. Uh, yeah. Even though Goku, even not Goku Black, even though Bardock and Vegeta uh, did benefit from uh, season uh, from recent patches, um, still not enough for me personally. Yeah, and going going back to what I was saying earlier about my friend in college, um, uh, we told him that he really hates the fact that every character in Dragon Ball is a rushed down or a mixed up character, and there's like no heavy type character. Or no, quote unquote, heavy da heavy characters in this game. And it's just like it. I told him. Uh, I told him that if that's if that's his reason for not liking a character, then maybe fighters isn't for him. Like, it's like a honest. It's like a, a honest to god cold truth about it. Is that if this game is if there's a lot of these characters, if if you think a lot of these characters are, sorry. If you don't like how all these characters play the same, then maybe this game is not for you. Which I also told them that it's also the reason why I stopped playing as well because uh, I can hardly find a team that like fit my needs for my playstyle, and it's just that uh, it just didn't like I just couldn't find a good team. Like every character, like you said, plays uh, either the same or has different variations. Like. All that, all that stuff. It's just, it's just got really disheartening for me to pick it up every time I look at it, or disheartening to even laugh. This is a, uh, yeah. It's it just sucks, really bad. Yeah, and that's really all I have to say for it, really. Rocking. Well, let's get uh, well, fighters. Uh, I'm good. 
I kind of just spaced out because I'm trying to set up something. <laughs> Very good. That well, pretty much sums up his thoughts. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> well, I guess we can move on to the most recent. Well, not the most recent, but uh, as far um, as content goes, the most released content. I guess. Um, yeah. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, as yeah, everyone, yeah. as everyone knows, Joker has recently dropped, and we still have four more uh, five, uh, challenger packs so, to go. So is Joker a joke character or not? No, shut. Up. <laughs> oh my God. I'm banning this man <laughs> in oh. my stream. Joker yes, from, Joker from Persona Five <laughs> is uh, on his is here. And uh, we probably won't know any other characters until E3. So, that's always fun. Has any of you two played Joker? I have. Not. Uh, I, what are your thoughts on him? Um, he's fun. I'm not good with him. Yeah. But uh, he's good. Uh, his persona it really adds a lot to him. Um, and... He's he's a very uh he's he's been very well crafted into Smash Brothers from his main game Persona Five, and uh, that's all I can really say. Yeah, that's nice. all I can say too. I don't, I don't I, know much about people. I don't, yeah, I don't have yeah. any attachment to Persona or Persona Five. Yeah, yeah, I like Joe. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hey. I was gonna say um I like Joker in this game, but probably someone I probably won't pocket to be honest, because um he doesn't get uh, most of his stuff uh, most of his strength comes from his persona RSN, mm -hmm. and and most of his kill moves uh, rely on RSN, because it because um people say that Joker's OP in his stuff or and stuff but like, I couldn't uh, but I feel like he's more of an A or B tier. And that's without his. Uh, that's without his persona. I think it's still too early to say. Yeah, true. Like, he I did just. He just came out like a few days yeah, ago. He, yeah, he just came out like. Uh, yeah. Like I know someone in my dis uh, someone in Discord, who was like, "Oh, Joker's really cool. Oh, I'm gonna like main him and stuff. He's like super high tier." And then there's another guy who was like, "Oh, Joker sucks. Sucks. He he doesn't kill moves. He's not like Ganondorf or any like that." Uh, yeah, it's just back and forth, and I, and I, I like to tell him like it's too too early to like judge. The, he just came out like a few days ago. Like, give him some more time. Maybe he will be broken. Maybe he'll be trash, or who knows. Doria. Yeah. Oh, that's... all right. Got all my hair. Yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that his grappling hook pulls your pulls the opponent down. Oh Every yeah. I think that's the first in Smash history that's ever done something like that. Yeah, I think that's our that's the first time a character has had a move that like sucks the opponent back in. Well, I mean, we have like Link, Pac Man, Samus, and all that stuff, but never like an upbeat move. Well, yeah, never like a special type, like not like a not like a chain grab or like a t or a tether grab rather. But um, uh, yeah, it's pretty unique. Yeah. Uh, I do Have you seen that one tweet where um, Joker tried to recover but grabbed Peach's turn up instead and they end up died? Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was actually OD. That's funny. That that was uh, that was a uh, yeah. That could be a one drawback of Joker's grappling hook. You could like you could like suck, you could like grapple the wrong item and he'll like fall to his death. I do like. Um... Oh, rather, I do hope that uh, future DLC characters are just as uh, fun as Joker, and that um, we continue to get amazing reveals as the year goes on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm 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 still clamoring for Dante. I'm still clamoring for uh, Elena or uh, uh, Clonoa. I'm kind, I'm low key over Smash, so I kind a part of me doesn't care that much about the DLC characters in Smash because I think I've I'm done being a 
or at least for now at least I'm done being hype over characters because I have I couldn't really get hype over most of the newcomers in this game I only really got hype over the fact that we have parries and t and thrill teching yeah 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 in terms of the newcomers in this game probably the weakest but that's just because they spent a lot of time working on getting the veterans back from the older games yeah I mean, Whoa. that's true, but my opinion is the same nonetheless, and that's partially because they brought back so many veterans. Yeah, they brought back Snake, which is great and all, but a veteran is still a veteran. Like, I was yeah. hyped when he came back, but there's no new character. There's almost no new characters that interest me to that degree. Plus, yeah, I, I, I kind of got sick of Smash. Yeah, I feel, yes. That is understandable. Um, um, as as for me, for Smash Bros, um, I would uh, uh, I would st I'd still play the game to this game, but only with friends because um, I do not want to go near the competitive scene like at all. Like yeah. I I pretty much would want to stay near away from the competitive side of Smash and have absolutely nothing to do with them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm much more I'm much more of a casual. I just um, want to go back to the online warrior days, personally. I don't want to go into actual tournaments. Oh, yeah. Uh, despite how ca despite me being more of a casual, I do wish I could play offline more, because online is killing me. I play. I think I've played enough offline Smash, because at my yeah. school, this sma the Smash players at my school are sweaty. Like, they are yeah. sweaty, bro. Like, some people's days will be just completely ruined. They could get, like, the perfect score on their exam. Like, they're like they're taking the math ex uh, their exams on Math Excel. They get a perfect score. They go to the Smash tournament later that Friday night, and they get second place, and they are salty, bro. And not to say that they aren't good people, with the exceptions, but some of these players are, like... I can only re I could probably only really relate to them if I was playing a game that I could destroy them in. Because, man, you should probably they're not bad people for for the most part, but you should come and see how some of these play players uh are when they can get salty. It's, it's not it's not as bad as an actual Smash tournament, but it's it's still a, a piece of the pie. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, some uh, people in my group, or some of the uh, Smash the uh, Smash Bros people in my college is kind of like that. Only yeah. not too bad, but still, oh, it's still on the small levels. I will say, like a year before I actually uh, I went to that school, there was a story of this one guy that nobody likes, and um, like. And when it comes to playing games with him, nobody likes him. When it comes to things outside of games like Smash, because it turns out this dude is actually a pretty cool guy when it comes to certain things he's interested in. Like, this dude is really into Gundam stuff, and he, he could be a pretty cool person um, just outside of Smash, but he can be a pretty toxic person as well when it yeah. comes to... and understandable because it's very understandable for, for why he would feel that way because at one point uh, in the smash 4 days he was considered like one of the worst character uh, one of the worst players in the tournaments and basically there was this rule of thumb where if you lost to this guy you were con considered trash like it, you have to beat him in order to be uh considered uh, in order to uh, unless you're if you didn't beat him, then you were considered trash in terms of like playing them. Yikes! Because he was that bad in these games, and I can understand like how bad he could get at those games because one of his favorite games is Blaze Blue and well, just Arc System games in general, but especially Blaze Blue. And this dude plays a lot of uh, Susano, uh, Hazama, uh, what's this, this Terumi, but apparently this dude just never blocks. So. I guess there's a little bit of understanding of why he's not doing that well. But... Uh, uh, doesn't know how to press the block button. 
<laughs> right? Like, yep, there was a block button. And this dude gets super salty when people use stylish mode. Like, he will call people scum if he plays a stylish mode person, especially if he loses to them. <laughs> and it gets really <laughs> funny. Yeah. I mean, I think stylish mode sucks, but I'm not going to call someone a scumbag for using it. I would rather they not, but I'm not going to call someone a scumbag for using stylish mode. Man. Yeah. But, like, even though people did not, in the, in the community, did not treat him right, he was still, uh, uh, he was still kind of uh, tough to deal with. And... This dude was, like, really resilient when it came to, like, trying to hang out with my group of friends. When, like, he's kind of gotten the hint that n none of them really likes him like that. I don't really have a big problem with them, other than the fact that he can be really r r um, persistent in trying to be with uh, with the group. Because he's, he's not really much of a, uh, a talker. He's just a background person, which is... It, I wish he, he could talk a little more. But he just has a bad reputation with the group. Uh, yeah. It's kind of crazy. And in my opinion, that Super Smash Bros, as a, even though there's nothing wrong with the community, it, well, it, there's nothing, not everything in the community is toxic or stuff like that. It's, but in my basic opinion, and if you want to call it that, is that Super Smash Bros, no matter what game you play, can bring out the worst in you as a human being oh, or something yeah. like that. Like, you know, it, it can make someone really upset or really mad. And we're not talking about the, oh, oh, ha, oh, fuck you, ha, ha, ha type of deal when you're playing casuals with people with items on. So, oh, also, I hear myself, but. Oh, he's hearing uh, himself. I, I, th I thought I hear myself as, oh, there it is again. What the hell? Hold up. Might need to, like, fix your mic or something, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Hmm. I don't know. Anywho, like I was saying, but it, it can br Smash can bring like the worst in you, and it, at least in my opinion, is that you see like a lot of stories about how people get super salty in tournaments or some controversy that happens here and there. Some drama always spews on Twitter where some top player says so something <laughs> once about some other things, and then go, and there's this endless spiral of instant drama, name calling, and all this other stuff. And yeah, does that include throwing crabs? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was getting ready to say. Why did they throw a crab? How did they bring a crab into the tournament? Like, why a crab? Of all, of all the things they could use, of all the things they could have used, why an actual living crab? I think the crab is the real victim here, not HBox. I think <laughs> even though I, was, even though I, I do think that the HBox shouldn't be hit with that crab, but I think the crab was the real victim here. Yo, because these Smash players are sweaty. They don't shower, and they have crabs. Yeah. Oh no. I that guess you could say the Smash. I guess, I, guess you, I guess you could say the Smash community is really crabby about that situation. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. God. Why is this? Why is the stream still considered to be running at thirty FPS? I got better internet. The. F hmm. I don't know. Oh, I'll, I'll, put, I'll probably fix that later. Yeah. But, anywho, that's all I have to say, really, about Smash Bros. It's a fun game, but I don't want anything to do with the, to uh, with the c competitive side. I'll just play stick to playing casual matches and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll stick to being an online scrub. warrior. Oh, also, um, fix online for ultimate. Because yeah. it is doo-doo. With that being said, if if any of you want to hit me up for Squad Strike, uh, I'm rubbing the hands like Birdman in this bit. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. If they get Squad Strike online. Yeah, that would be, that would be nice oh. if Squad Strike or, online. Or 8 players, but that would be impossible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 8 player online smash, that, that would probably break the online faster than what yeah. it already did. Oh no. I mean, yeah. Chase, you got anything? Um I just hope we get some good sets. In the yeah. game. Like when we get to Evo. Yeah. Yeah true. True. The least we could do is have some good matches. Yeah, the game could be pretty hype. 
the, it's weird how frustrating the game could be because like it's still a type of quote-unquote fighting game but it's so different and this is like one of the first quote-unquote fighting games that I tried to play competitively even though it was brawl unfortunately <laughs> It's weird. I've never been so frustrated at the video games. Uh, uh, ex uh, for when I was a, uh, there's only two times where I was like really, really frustrated, and that was when I was playing Smash and Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Those games like pissed me off. Oh yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, those games. And those were also the first two games I pre-ordered. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't remember what my first pre order was. Uh, I was broke most of my life. And I'm not talking about my family, I'm talking about personally. Yeah. Uh, I lived a spoiled life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, last thoughts for Smash? I think I've already said um, my piece. Yeah, yeah. same. Alright, we're gonna do it. We're gonna move on to a uh, Undernight. This is a very I'm divisive surprised not, but... oh, sorry. game. It's, very, it's a very divisive subject for Undernight in birth. Uh, EXE latest. Oh, boy. Or Unist, as the kids call it. Yeah. <laughs> Just like what what's it called said. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's very cool to have Undernight uh, be at EVO as it is, you know, it's one of those more underground um, fighters. Come on. <laughs> I yeah. had to do it. <laughs> Why? I had to do it. <laughs> Yo, what? Look at the screen. Wait, I got more. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, I got I, more. You know what? You know, I'm surprised no one brought up Melee during the Smash segment. <laughs> That's I didn't want to bring up Melee. I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Who killed Melee? <laughs> <laughs> I had a stream on pause, so I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, I think it's good that, uh... Under Night's getting this representation. It is... It's a very... It is a very, uh, underrated... Uh, FGC title and hopefully it will get the performance and justice that it deserves uh, when we see it at EVO yeah hopefully it's a great game yeah, yeah. it God. is <laughs> it's a it's a really fun game I just, I just wish I had labbed it more come on oh, Rocky oh <laughs> god damn it I was saving <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. lie, part of the reason why I was just kinda zoning out during Dragon Ball Fighters was because I was looking for these. <laughs> yeah. You had, you had a phone for these? No, but it's just got a couple of them. Nah, fair um, this is my favorite meme ever. Oh, Because it's just, <laughs> I had to do it. I, I don't think I'm ever get, truly gonna get over these memes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he's gonna start cloning up this freaking Smash tab or this screen now. Oh yes. I hope yeah. to see. I hope to see a good show when this comes around. Because uh, I'm not sure what game's gonna be the lowest entrance. But uh, mm. I. But I feel like Under Night might be the one. But uh, hopefully. Um, we still get a good show out of it, as we do with most games that... that is that Boom Dog? Yes! yes. Uh, <laughs> probably if you that thing. I think that's the last of it, but I might be looking for more. <laughs> Alrighty, well... I do need to play this <coughs> game a bit more. Oh god, just I bought it a while ago, a uh, digital when it was on sale, I think. Yeah, same. And, I think it's uh, like I think speaking of which, it's like fourteen dollars now on PSN. 
Yeah, it's also on PC for people who like uh, their uh, fighting games to be on that platform. PC uh, Master Race. Yeah, but um, yeah. Uh, uh, I really don't have a lot to say about this game. I don't. I haven't invested a lot of my personal time into it. Uh, that might change over the summer. I uh, damn it! <laughs> my. Oh my god! I just found this one. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for this moment just to oh, say yes. that to all these. I was waiting. Any of them. Here are my thoughts on the game. Um, I really like the game, how it feels. Uh, also, it did, the, the only reason I got into it on a night was through cross tag battle. And I was wanting to see how this game plays. The game feels a lot harder for me to play than cross tag with Buzz. It like, it was like an eye opener for me. Like, yeah, it's one of the more harder fighting games. Yeah, it lives up to the anime fighter tradition. Yeah, it's uh, uh I haven't like you like like Chase here. Uh, I haven't spent much time with it myself. I've just been focused on other stuff, up uh, like other games, uh, school, w work, like and a job. All that stuff, getting the paycheck, getting that bread. I I don't have a mic. I can do that. <laughs> That's good, but that's good. anywho, um, uh, but yeah, uh, I would if I spend more time in it, I would pro I really really like it a lot. I don't really hate per se for it being hard, but uh, I just need some time with it. Uh, just spend some more time with it, like any other game I have. So yeah. Also, add a Akatsugi to cross tag battle. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's basically all I have for Under the Night. As far as game goes. But for Evil Wise, I think it's going to be a great show for Under the Night. I hope to see yeah. some Lene gameplay because, you know, that's my main. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I hope to see some top notch Gordo. I hope to see some Hyde uh, Akatsuki play, I guess. Or Wagner, but we'll probably see a lot of her. Yeah. Or between her and Elephant. Uh, or is that how you pronounce her name? Elephant? Uh, Elephant something. Elephant, yeah. Elephant. <laughs> yeah, I, I was saying it like Elephant for some reason. It made me think of the zoo books for some reason. Oh gosh. <laughs> An elephant. Uh, hold up one second. Hey, I was gonna say, what are your thoughts on Under Night Rockin'? Uh, I think the game is great. And I'm also about to uh, be hurt after showing this because <laughs> I personally made this one <laughs> that oh. I'm showing on the screen. <laughs> what is that from again? Yeah, this is from this manga, Domestic Girlfriend. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I actually just <laughs> made this once. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think I've seen that already. <laughs> oh, I was done, and then I remembered I made that, and I said, I, "Okay, this is the last one because I have to put the one I made in." And it's funny because it's interchangeable too. You could switch Guilty Gear with Melee, and it still works. Yeah. <laughs> uh what a fun stream. Or you can replace Guilty Gear with DOA 6, technically. <coughs> you're right, you're right. I don't know if it was yeah. ever going to get in there due to core values. True. Uh, true. Core values. Friggin' uh, wizard's core values. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Not even a side tournament. You would prefer uh, McRibs rather than uh, tits and ass. <laughs> He, he, instead of getting milk, he would just get some soda. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Go. I am a horrible person. <laughs> Aren't you all? <laughs> at one point in our lives. Uh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Right, I'm about to delete these all. Yeah, it's getting a little cluttered with these two right here. Oh, yes. Oof, Lordy. It was fun doing this stream. Yeah. It was, yep. <laughs> well, is that basically all our thoughts we have on these games? Final thoughts on evil all together. Um, melee's gone. Yeah, that's I'm doing. I'm doing the crab dance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, um, gives us. Oh, uh, we get a good show out of it, and we get some uh, hype announcements. Yeah, that's all we could ask for. Yeah. I'm personally hoping for a lot of announcements and some hype gameplay from this show. It's actually one of the few EVOs that I would actually watch more than one or two games or three. Because I'm thinking about watching Undernight, Cross Tag, Tekken 7, Soul Calibur, and Sal Samurai Showdown. Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch a good oh, chunk of these games. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch a good chunk of these games. Uh... Because a lot of them I'm actually really interested uh, into looking at. Um, the only ones that yep. I, uh, the only ones that I like can say for certain I'm not like gonna watch are uh, Soul Calibur Six and maybe Cross Tag. Yeah, I feel you. I believe the only ones I may not watch are like uh, Dragon Ball and Street Fighter and. Uh, probably ultimate, or maybe cross tag battle as well. Who knows? So all in all, I'd say this is a, looking to be a great, uh, great show. Oh, and um, I hope to see a lot of amazing things from it. So yeah. Alrighty. And as soon as. Uh, Rocket gets back, or Bonchin, and we will hear his final thoughts. Yep. Uh, if he gets back. Because I think I heard someone else... Uh, I think I heard someone else on, over the mic. Yeah, I think he'll be back at some point. Yeah. But, um... We can... I can so, wait. How's, so how's everyone in the chat doing? Yeah. How's your day feel? How's everyone's day? Me personally, I had to, uh, I ordered some uh, wings from Pizza Hut, and they I asked for a, I asked for a mild uh, medium uh, mild buffalo sauce, but they ended up giving me honey barbecue instead. I was uh. kind of peeved about that. So, um, that's pretty much the only eventful thing, thing I did today, to be honest. I was still recovering from the tournament, or LAN party last night. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired. Aren't we all? Yeah, I'm, I've just been tired all day. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. I feel you. I'm not picky, I'm not picky on food, so, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I wish I had that same attitude as you show. Alright, I'm back. Hey. Okay. My we were just talking about... Her... Yeah, we all gave her final thoughts. Nice, alright. Steal the show. <laughs> I'm yeah. looking at the show's thing. Yeah. Not picky on food. Were we talking about Justin Wong's tier list or something? Oh no! no. no. <laughs> we'll yeah. save that for the next episode. That's a, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> if we we're really gonna get into that, because yeah. he, he there's a lot to your list to talk about as far as Justin Wong goes. We'll be the next No Frills podcast, even though we started it first. Yeah. <laughs> so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, like I was just talking about about 
how I ordered wings from Pizza Hut, and I ended up uh, I ended up getting honey barbecue wings when I asked for mild buffalo sauce. Dang, I like yeah. honey barbecue though personally. Eh, I it's just not my thing. I prefer spicy foods. You see, I like honey hot barbecue. It was like it's also hot as well. Yeah. Okay, one time um, at my school, I went to order some buffalo wings because my the pizza place started um, selling wings, but they ran out and gave me honey hot, and I didn't ask for that. But since they ran out, I had no choice but to accept. Plus, that sounded really interesting, honey uh, hot sauce. All right, that I just wanted to try, it. and I don't think I'm ever gonna go back. Well, unless I'm, unless I'm going to the going to a, a specific place like. Wing stop or Buffalo Wild Wings, but like if I'm going to a place like Chili's or Red Robins, I'm I'm definitely getting Honey Hot. Well, maybe a couple times I'll get Buffalo. Maybe if I can somehow get them half and half. Damn. Mm. But yeah, that's pretty right. much it. All right. All right. You got any final thoughts on Evo? Um, it's gonna be a great show. I wish I was actually attending this year, just and that's specifically because of Melee. Because I, I'm, I love. I think Melee is fu- is cool, but I think that it's just an outdated classic. I don't think it should leave the scene. I think it should leave Evo because it's like I want it to live the same way that Third Strike is living on, where it's it's an outdated classic, but we're still having Cooperation Cup every year. So we're not forgetting the game. We're still, we still love the game. So we still play it uh, annually. And then me- and it doesn't even have to be an annual turn, uh, an annual thing for me- for melee. They could just, they still have Genesis and CEO. Yeah. But I just want melee to just rest in peace for once. And that's it. Yeah. Same. Hopefully, we get a great show. Alrighty. Alright, now it's time to wrap up the show. Yep. I think this is a great episode, and it's a good time to end off the show. Yep. Alrighty. It was uh, was a great show. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, thanks uh, thanks for having me. Alright, thanks for stopping over. Yeah, not sure if I'll be on the next one or not, but who knows. Don't even know when we'll do the next one, so don't worry. Hey, we'll we'll right. find some good topics for the next one. Actually, yeah, I think we'll I out. think we kind of do have some topics, but I just need to write them down. But I'll worry about that another time. Right. Alrighty. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you guys for coming to see the stream. Uh, I appreciate you all and coming to watch the podcast. The uh, yet another successful episode. Any takeaways from you guys? Any shout outs? Um, um, I got music coming out at some point. Hey, so uh, look forward to that. Um, I'll stream whenever I can. At least I'm still not dead from streaming yet, but I'll. I just need to get back into swinging things. But when it, as far as streaming goes, but I just been down um, under as far as streaming goes. So yeah, I need. I definitely need to get back on the horse sometime as soon as the semester ends or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I need to stream more as well. I need to stream a little more, especially now that I'm gonna have more time, because you know, no homework, and maybe even some more money. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good show, and uh, I'm about to end this right now. Thank you guys for coming to see the show. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Later. Bye. Bye.